My name is Paul Miller. I work for the Optical Measurement Group at the National Physical Laboratory. What I do is I measure light. To me, light is optical radiation that causes a human visual sensation. And so therefore, my research is largely to do with the measurement of energy efficient lighting. Lighting is used in human applications. So if you look around, you have lighting at your home, you have lighting uh, where you work, and you have lighting when you're traveling. So what we need to do is make measurements that represent what we perceive. So the laboratory we're in houses the NPL Gonio Photometer. So this is a large six metre high laboratory where we have a big mirror and a detector and the ability to move our light source with respect to our detector. What this instrument does in addition to measuring lighting in a traditional manner, we've added a spectroradiometer and that, that enables us to measure light as a function of wavelength. So that makes it a unique facility that we can look at not just the quantity of light, but also its quality. That's what these glasses are doing, and it's also a representation of what our detector views. So rather than viewing just the whiteness, it can actually split those into the wavelength components. In each of these boxes, we have different lighting technologies. The white lights are all producing white using different spectral quantities. So in the first box, we have a fluorescent lamp. This is typically seen and uh, branded as energy efficient lighting. And indeed, it's consuming about nine watts of electrical energy. In the second box, we have an incandescent light bulb. So this is the kind that is being withdrawn because it's energy inefficient. So indeed, this is consuming close to 60 watts of electrical power. The third box is an LED-based light source. So this light source produces light from an LED. In this case, it will be a blue LED. And that blue LED then hits a phosphor, which produces the broad white color. And again, this does it in not only an energy-efficient manner, but also it's environmentally friendly because it doesn't use mercury in the production of the lamp. Spectrally, when you change your light source, you can have the impact that coloured objects appear different. So just then, where we went to a very red colour, the reds of the strawberry, so of the fruit, suddenly looked very black. And again, the change there, a green pepper started to look very grey. I've often been asked, what's the perfect light? And apart from MPL is in the great position where we're completely independent, so we, we, we don't need to say that. Actually, the best light is the light that's appropriate for you and for what you're doing. And so, actually, there is no such thing as a perfect light source because there are many different things that we do throughout the day where different light sources may be appropriate. And only by knowing the, measuring the quantity and quality of lighting can you really make that judgment.